Hey, what's up guys? Austin here and today I wanted to give you guys a little tour of my audio setup. Now, if you've been following me on any social networks, you'll know that I've been in the process of some behind the scenes changes. Uh, so what better time to bring this video? Anyways, I've gotten a lot of questions in the past about this and I think my audio setup has evolved the most. So I thought I'd give you guys a quick little rundown. Now, as you may notice, I am not in my usual setting. I'm actually at home finishing up my break from school. So once I get back in about a week, I'll give you guys the full tour of my complete setup. So thumbs up if you like that idea. So to begin, I'll start off with the two things I probably get asked about the most, my speakers. Well, these are a pair of Fostex PMO.5N active near field monitors. And as you can see, I got them in the white and the five denotes the five inch woofers. Now, as studio monitors, they provide really accurate, high quality sound. Uh, the bass end is solid and tight, and the mid range and high frequencies are even and detailed without sounding too aggressive. Uh, overall, they provide great sound and they look good while doing it. Now, as far as connections go, you can hook them up with either XLR or quarter inch cables. Actually, the back of these is what have changed the most. I used to hook them up directly to my computer with a 3.5 millimeter headphone cable that split into two XLR cables. But after about two weeks, there was a bunch of static running through the cables and they just became unbearable. So as a result, I upgraded to the PV USB P, which is basically the simplest but cleanest audio interface setup. Uh, it connects from the USB on your computer and outputs to two XLR cables. Now this is a great setup, but they're playback only, so you obviously can't use these to record anything. Now I was fine with this until I started upgrading my recording equipment, and so I've made one final upgrade, and that was to the Scarlett 2i2. So this is what I'm currently using, the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 audio interface. It's a really popular audio interface and it lets me output to my studio monitors, but also record using its dual XLR quarter inch inputs and active monitoring through the headphone jack. Now this little thing is great in so many ways. So for starters, I can record directly into my computer and it has award winning preamps. So I don't have to worry about any loss of quality, listening to music or recording sound. Uh, and it can also be used as a headphone amp, which is pretty good. So when I'm not using my speakers, I can shut them off and plug in my headphones into the quarter inch DAC on the front. And the headphones that I'm using actually conveniently come with a quarter inch adapter. I'm using the Audio-Technica ATH M50s, probably the most popular headphones here on YouTube. Anyways, I actually just got these, but if you guys want me to do a review on these, uh, just let me know. But as of now, they're sounding pretty good. So that's just about everything. I use the M50s to monitor my audio while I'm recording, and I'm actually using them to record the audio for this video. Uh, if you're wondering about the mic I'm using, I'm using my shotgun mic, the Sennheiser MKE 600. Now, I used to shoot with the Zoom H1, but I this was just a little professional upgrade. I found that this one is a lot more convenient as a shotgun style mic, and I also left my Zoom at school, so yeah. Uh, either way, this is a really great shotgun mic. It connects with an XLR cable and you can use a single AA battery to power it if you don't have access to phantom power like the 2i2 provides. Now, ideally for videos like this, I would be using a condenser microphone. Uh, however, for my regular videos, I prefer to keep the mic out of the shot. And as you can hear, this mic sounds just as good. So that is all the audio equipment that I use in making my videos. If I miss anything, I'll make sure to include it in the full setup tour that I'll be shooting next week. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. As always, be sure to throw me a thumbs up if you like the video. Links to everything I talked about will be in the description if you want to check something out. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video.